Welcome back gamers. Today we're exploring yet another video game bar, this time in the city of Dallas, Texas. Come take the journey with me on this next episode of Video Game Bars. So we're here in an industrial area of Dallas, Texas. Uh, I had to kind of step back because there's a food truck in front of the video game bar and it's had, it has like a motor running so it was making too much noise. So I'm just stepping a little back here. A fun fact, after researching this place, I found out it's located inside a brewery. Needless to say, there's plenty of craft beer served here, but there's even more options of arcade machines to play. I really want you guys to see this place, so let's go check it out. Bishop Cidercade known by Dallas locals for its copious amounts of hard cider and its astonishing selection of arcade machines, which brings in quite the crowd. There's a $10 entry fee for adults and just three simple rules of play. As you first enter, you'll immediately encounter a barrage of lights and sounds emanating from both the arcades and their big screen projectors. Guys, this place is packed. And you'll see everything from retro games to racing games, console games, and even pinball machines. They got uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica, ACDC, all the popular rock bands, Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Shadow. I was surprised to see The Shadow here. There are over 20 pinball machines and more than 150 arcades in total. You'll also be glad to know that all of these games are free to play. Games like Game Ground, Indiana Jones, Mad Planets, Cliffhanger, Dragon's Lair 2, Mousetrap, and Popeye. I'm sure you guys remember Cuphead. It was a very popular indie game that came out a few years ago. Well, now they turned it into an arcade machine. An arcade cabinet, check it out. <laughs> Here's a retro arcade conversion of the console exclusive Cuphead. Some fighting games have also been ported over. Let's see what we have here in the console section. Oh, it looks like Tekken 7 and Dragon Ball Fighters. Fighting games here at Cidercade are configured in both American and Japanese style arcade cabinets. This is a new game I haven't seen yet. It's like a new iteration of Cruisin' USA called Cruisin' Blast. Here at Cidercade, all ages are welcome. But it's 21 and older after 8 p.m. There are no shortages of projector screens. As you can see, I counted two. One here and one in the next room. Let's go check it out. As if this place wasn't big enough already, there's still another room to explore. This is the main production side of the cidery, an area to kick back and enjoy your favorite sports. Free tours of the fermentation process are provided every first Saturday of the month. And what better way to attract cider and craft beer lovers than to adjoin it with a video game arcade. This end of Cidercade further expands the game selection to include Skee-Ball and Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, Dance Dance Revolution X2. Uh, I kinda wanna try this out, you know, uh, me being a DDR freak, not anymore, but looks fun though. They have not one, not two, but three versions of Tron. Tron Legacy, regular Tron, and then they have this Tron, Disc Tron. So I like this, they got the old version, a uh, four player version of Ninja Turtles, and then they got the new version, which actually looks pretty fun. Now that we've toured both rooms of Cidercade and sifted through their various games, let's head back up front to sample some cider. Here, you can find an assortment of ciders available on tap. Their menu lists more than 20 different flavors to choose from. You can also buy cider in a can and take it to go. And if you're feeling hungry, just step outside. One of many Dallas local food trucks will be on location serving savory dishes. To the Texas gamer, I can't recommend Bishop Cidercade highly enough. It's a tasteful blend of video games and cider that pair just perfectly. Guys, unfortunately, that is it for this episode of Video Game Bars. If you like my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, I'm on social media. You can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Feel free to leave a comment below of any local video game bars near you. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes, and as always, keep gaming. I'll see ya.